So, fair warning, I have food, um, and I can't really mute my mic as easy as I could the old one. So, you know, if you want to watch Patchy's Bizarre Adventure, well, that's great. I will try very hard not to eat in the mic, I promise. Um, but yeah, I will, I am hungry, that's all. Uh, I don't have alcohol chat, because I drank the you know, last stream, and I don't want to drink more, so... You know, we're going to continue this, and it's going to be pure, unfiltered nonsense. But I have my chicken shawarma, and I have my bottled water. Let's open the game for part two of Shady Trial. Here I go. I'll take a bite. Ooh, big bite. Ah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry, Karaska. I'm sorry. I almost got home at a perfect time, but I was late. Hmm. All right. Um, it's not capturing. That's never mind. It's capturing. Great job. Hold on. My controller a little stuck. <clears throat> okay. Here we go. Everybody ready? Return to Pachi. Here we go. Where am I? 10.50 a.m. Gen Sokyo Courthouse Defendant Lobby. Shit. Come on, it's time for a trial version retrospective. Oh, we're, we're starting right away, okay. What? A retrospective? Everything up until now was the trial versions portion of Shady Trial. The content past this point is exclusive to the full version. But there's something we have to do first. A retrospective, huh? One more unprecedented event for the pile. <clears throat> Excuse- Who's Capsie? Oh right, I forgot, chat! I forgot, remember, Patchily- Patchily is triplets, remember? Remember the way the first part ended? There were three Patchies. This is Capthy. Oh, you're one of the sisters from earlier. Wait a bit for us to finish, please. Okay, first thing, first thing, first thing. It was too long! That's some blunt feedback. Five cross-examinations and four witnesses. That's basically a whole case of content. To make matters worse, saving wasn't implemented in the trial version either. Playtime isn't much of a selling point for games these, day these days. If anything, it works against them. Games you can pick up and play casually for short periods of time are in demand right now. Especially in the Dojin world. Whew, it hurts to hear, but I can't deny it. Uh, excuse me. Hello, Pachi. Oh, you're one of the sisters from earlier. We'll only be a little longer, so please hold on. Also, also, also. It's too dated. D dated? You mean the references? Those two, but it's also just all around dated. <clears throat> the tempo, the atmosphere, it's all a generation behind. The long play time's dated too. You're not holding anything back, huh? It's long and dated, but it's still funny. That's my general feedback on the trial version. I guess you're right. Can't help it being dated after all. So, taking that feedback into account, we're going to have an unprecedented change in genre. What? Up until this point, Shady Trial's genre was courtroom dance battle. But henceforth, its genre will be changed to match the dojin games of yore. Hold on, Patchy. Is it really okay to just change the genre partway through the game? Games barely even have genres these days anyway. Dojin games and Arrow Gay are getting especially hard to even classify genres for these days. You're right. I can no longer seek enjoyment from this game. Breaking as many precedents as possible. That's the single thing I'll aim for. 
You're just going to loudly declare that in game, huh? Hello again, Capty. Can I help you? Ah, oh, the retrospective's over now, so we'll resume the main story. Oh, in that case, allow me to take a bite of my chicken shawarma. Mmm. I have, Chad, I have to increase my size. Because if I don't increase my size, I cannot increase muscle. However, I have a very fast metabolism. So, that's why I'm eating something excessive after the gym today. Mmm. It's quite good though. <sighs> Sorry. Don't mind me. You know, I won't eat in the middle of conversation. So at the very least, I'll stop what I have to eat so Bob Watchers can skip ahead. Drinking water doesn't count, but I'll count it from now. <clears throat> Three, two, one. What? You're part of a set of three sisters, Patchy. Oh, we're getting right back into the game. You sound like a comedian suddenly asked to react after a commercial break. <laughs> back to the subject at hand. Chat. Everybody's wondering the same thing. Why she look like that? I'm Captuli Knowledge. I make a living as a dance choreographer. <clears throat> My nickname is Capti. Look at this goofball. A choreographer? Wow, that's pretty cool. I learned to dance from my older sister. Oh, so that spinning you did was a dance. And next up we have... I'm Ponchilly Knowledge. I'll make a living as a lumberjack. And my nickname is Ponchi. A lumberjack? I didn't know that profession was still around. I'm learning this for the first time, too. I would have never thought you were part of a set of three sisters, Patchy. I love the mist twists. <laughs> Should we really be changing the canon like this? Never mind, we're past that point. So, a temporary recess was called for everyone to et a grip on the situation. Uh-oh. <clears throat> we got one. We got one. Let me know when you got it. We'll move on. Alright. <laughs> Making sure. But is knowing that your three sisters going to be of any help to us or anything? Well... Absolutely none at all. But the mistress of Sakuya san provided us with so much forced evidence. What do we do, Patchy? Capti? Pachi? We'll lose the trial at this rate. <laughs> Top three Remelias right here. Top three. <laughs> oh, she's great. I want to pick her up and run around, pretend she's an airplane. Don't worry, Remy. When we three sisters all assemble together, a banquet of madness, madness, madness brought about by our dancers and curses shall fall upon this world. Smug creature. Just you watch. <laughs> we'll destroy this trial and then this world. <laughs> wow, the Patches are so reliable. I know you're already doing whatever you want in there, but do apply some moderation, okay? For starters, killing that Alice girl will resolve things, right? Jeez, Capty. Indeed it would, sis. Let's kill her! Let's her in peace! Huh? Let's her in... Kill her in peace? Okay. Hold on, are you planning on causing another incident? Good grief. Calm down, my younger sisters. Oh, so Lady Potchili is the eldest, and Lady Capthuli is in the middle. If you're gonna kill her, be sure you don't leave any evidence. Luckily for us, I'm a lumberjack. So I'm accustomed to that sort of thing. 
I don't think lumberjacks are accustomed to this sort of thing at all. Why is a lumberjack accustomed to such unsettling things? Lumberjacks almost always get the role of killer in western movies. Right? Come on, they're questioning whether you three have an alibi right now. Coo -coo -coo. An alibi, hmm? We'll show you then. How's the glorious corporation of we three sisters? Could fabricate an alibi. So you are going to fabricate one. <laughs> well, I, I, I'm getting multiple screenshots for thumbnail potential, you know. I got, I'm just not sure which one I want to use. Oh, right. I nearly forgot. What is it, Patchy? Since we've reached the second half of the first case, I'll dispose of any evidence we don't need. What? Sure, mystery games sometimes throw out unneeded evidence under the guise of organizing your inventory. But I feel like it'd be uh, kind of bad to do that right now, don't you? The nerve of people who can just throw out a key on the spot because they don't think they'll need it anymore. I just don't understand them. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong button again. Where's my sisters? Why, why don't my sisters have profiles? Even highly versatile items like crowbars and wrenches get discarded. That's true. But this is still the first case, so we can't let evidence pile up too high. At the very least, let's all have some fried chicken. Yay! Nakatsu fried chicken! Nakatsu fried chicken eaten and removed from the court record. Oh! Alright. Then I suppose I shall join you. Um. Mm. Well, Yuko only died yesterday. That chicken's only a day old. One more bite, chat. One more bite. Is there a law against eating evidence? Genuine question, chat. I know it's illegal to dispose of evidence, but... Does that count as disposing of evidence if you just eat the food? Consider destruction of evidence. Okay, that makes enough sense, but... I guess there's not really a lot of cases where that is like, you know, people just eat eat the weapon, right? Mm, yep, still good cold. Even evidence may mean taking something incriminating and then eating it, you may be slapped out of evidence tampering charge. That makes enough sense. I just, that's never ever been something that's ever come up before, so I don't, I've never, uh, never thought about it. But it makes perfect sense. Should we really be eating evidence? Okay, now that we're nice and full, I guess it's time to go save the world, huh? Ooh, you're so cool, Patchy! Weren't you just talking about destroying the world? Good grief. With my elder sisters here, we're at full power. Now that the genre's changed, dancing doesn't even matter. We'll show you, we three sisters, Shady Trial! I said it again! The court is now starting, which means I'm taking another bite. Hmm. I gotta take another bite, hold on. Hmm. That's some good shit. Too bad it was really expensive, but... It's okay. I've earned it today. Hmm. Okay, here we go.
Now then, we shall resume the deliberation of Hong Mailing. I feel like this isn't even my deliberation anymore. It certainly was a surprise to having the persons of interest increase like that. We took a recess due to the confusing nature of the situation. Is everyone good to go now? Did you make sure to have your retrospective? We sure did. Yeah. We sure did. That puts me at ease then. We should be able to proceed without any further confusion now. That sudden revelation of the existence of your three sisters certainly muddled things. But, you three being sisters serves as definitive proof backing up my, asser my assertion. All that's left now is for you three to pin the crime on one of your own. Good grief, what a nasty prosecutor. Pinning a crime on someone else. That's not something you ought to do. <laughs> now then, I'm going to hurry things right along and call the next witness. Or witnesses. The persons of interest who were suddenly added to the roster earlier. That's a lot of nonsense loaded into one sentence. Are they both going to take the stand at the same time? Who's this? Is this Pachi or Kapti? Uh, I can't help but notice that you appear to be one person. But I assume you're just in front of one another, yes? Yes, I'm in the mid- I'm the middle sister. Captuli Knowledge. I make a living as a dance choreographer. My nickname is Kathy. And I'm the eldest sister. Botchily Knowledge. I make a living as a lumberjack. My nickname's Botchy. Your parents must have had a few screws loose for giving you those names. Not to mention you have exactly the same face and body shape. At least change that moon accessory up for something else. Siblings are supposed to use hand-me-downs. So you ought to respect their freedom as individuals. Those two lines don't make any sense together, Patchy. More importantly, you ought to prioritize making it so we can tell you apart. So earlier, we were deliberating the suspect's alibi. However, the appearance of you three sisters has made it even more unclear as to who committed this crime. Regardless, there's no mistaking that the Patchouli family is to blame. I've all but won this deliberation. Good grief, stop setting up so many flags. In the first place, this deliberation is supposed to be in regards to Hong Mailing. I'd forgotten that you have absolutely no intention of helping me. <laughs> so, what did you want us sisters to testify about? Hmm, uh, for near, let's... For near? What do you mean for near? You mean for now? For now, let's hear about your alibi at the time of the murder. But I still have one final witness on standby for later. So in the interest of not wasting time, let's have you both testify at once. Seriously? I don't care who the culprit is. I'll resolve this for sure, just you watch. Crap, Alice is getting a big head. She's not even butting in to call out stupid lines as much anymore. I have a hunch we're going to see chaos like never before. Sakuya, is Patchy gonna be okay? <laughs> Worst case scenario, we can just pin the crime on someone else. Oh, okay. Get him, Patchy. <laughs> this creature makes me happy. You've got it all wrong, Remy. I don't want to hurt anyone. Not you, not Sakuya, not this China woman. I don't want to make anyone sad. For that purpose, I'll become an Oni, or even a demon. So, God, I implore you. Where'd you go? Oh God, bestow upon me the power to surpass gods. Bro, she flew out of her seat. She got that air time. Hold on. Before we begin, I'm taking a bite. Mmm. Shwarma. It's like Yuma, but shwarma. 
I bet Yuma would like shawarma. <clears throat> Hold on. All right, ready? Our alibi. Revealing the truth. So, at 11 p.m., I heard a dog whistle. <laughs> I heard a dog whistle out of nowhere, then started bawling. Okay. I got into a car at 10 a.m. on that day. Realized I didn't have a license and started bawling. I chased after a stray cat with a fish in its mouth at 5 p.m., but I was barefoot and it hurt so I started bawling. That reminds me, the food I had at the Nishinari soup kitchen at 8 a.m. made me remember prison food, so I started bawling. What do you mean, prison food, Pachi? What'd you do? A huge earthquake hit my school at 1 in the afternoon, and the aftershock was scary, so I started bawling under my desk. She will never be bawling. She is only bawling. Now look here. Why are the times of your testimony completely out of order? Well, that explains the weird title. <laughs> so revealing was intentional. You're right. I would have never thought. That stray cats with fish in their mouth really existed. That's not the issue here! You know what I like about Alice's lines? Is Alice is just... Alice's lines just let me get angry at the game. That's all Alice is. She lets me get angry at the absurdity of the game. <laughs> it's very easy to get in character for her. Indeed, I too would take my shoes off and forget my wallet if I saw a stray cat with a fish in its mouth. It's an absolute top priority action written in the very DNA of anyone Japanese. Isn't it a bit late to forget your wallet by that point? That doesn't matter! The problem here is that the testimony wasn't given in chronological order. I see. So this is one of those timing tricks. They usually make minor appearances in the mid-game. It's a surprise seeing one so early. This game's quite the challenge. Now things have gone and gotten interesting. They just made their testimony confusing. There's no tricks here. Come to think of it, the time of the murder has never even come up until now. You two certainly did a lot of bawling that day. Falling is just a fancy way of saying crying, by the way. You're so smart, mistress. I mean, it'd be more suspicious if we could clearly recount our exact alibis the moment you asked us. Isn't that the typically more natural to remember stuff that left an impression on you? Hearing that from a suspect just makes it all the more suspicious, though. It's so bizarre seeing throwaway side characters and mysteries that remember every inane detail. The most bizarre example I've seen was in a certain drama show. It was a random, insignificant farmer who clearly and concisely remembered someone who'd asked them for directions 25 years ago. Yeah, you see that now and again. Throwaway side characters who remember crazy things just to give the protagonist hints. Good grief, it's incredibly rude to treat my sisters as throwaway side characters like that. They're family of the main character, so they're obviously important characters too. I think you're the one at fault for modifying canon. Even if I've had people forced to, you're actually someone's sister setting on me. They imagine me to be Eden's sister, for example. I have never seen that ever in my life. Yeah, the man in charge gave permission to fantasize about that kind of stuff however we want, after all. <laughs> he sure did, didn't he? I don't care about this talk of canon. This is an issue unique to this game. What I'm saying is that the culprit is among 
those patchoulis. I, for one, wouldn't mind just killing all three. Killing them all is our last resort. For now, let's solve our mysteries one at a time. I shouldn't even be the last resort. It shouldn't even be the last resort. Even if we're able to solve the crime's mysteries, the chronological order of those alibis is complete nonsense. Has the matter of when Yiko was killed even come up so far? Well, let's put that aside. Please begin the cross-examination. Huh? Cross-examination? Is the defense going to handle this? Good grief, this shouldn't surprise you anymore. The defense is side testifies, so the defense gets to cross-examine. It's a prime example of... Nice twirl. Self-sufficiency. No, it's literally self-defense! <laughs> That was a good rebuttal. That was a good rebuttal on Alice's part. Literally self-defense is true. Hmm. Hold on chat, I'm eating. You want me to save? All right. There you go. Why, is there something here that I can miss? Hold on, one more bite. One more big boy bite. Oh, that's a big boy bite. Ow! That's good. Mmm. Well, I didn't see anything Im Im immediately obvious, but I'll do what I usually do. Uh, I will present something, and then I will press everything, and then we'll go from there. <clears throat> 11 p.m. I heard a dog whistle out of nowhere and started bawling. Myth twist's testimony. <clears throat> Why are my sisters not here? Presentation of evidence was a failure. Look, she got. Why did she get real ass hands? <laughs> she got real hands. <laughs> you said it yourself. How honorable! That actually raised my affection for you. Your Honor, the affection system is trademarked. Ah, then we can't use it. Here's a penalty. Wait, who trademarked the affection system? It's a little late for this game to worry about trademarks. If anyone sues, I'll hit them with a half spin Dr. Wily jump and respect prostration. <laughs> if you're giving them the Dr. Wily, doesn't that mean you're not actually sorry? World domination doesn't get you the death sentence after all. <clears> hmm. <throat> hmm. Uh, two updated script files to fix some timing issues. You can place them right now while the game is running. Okay. What do you want me to do with those? Do I download them? Do it. Do it. Uh, do I download them? Download and put in story folder. Okay. All right. All right. There you go. Hold on. <clears throat> Alright. <laughs> Nothing works. The game's stuck. The game is stuck.
The game is stuck. Permanently thinking. Permanently thinking. Well, how do I fix this? <laughs> Try reloading. No, you don't understand. Nothing works. No button works. The game's stuck. I have to- I have to close the whole game. Alright. Let's boot it back up. I made a save right there, so good thing I did, huh? Holy shit, good thing I did. Uh, that was statement one. That was pressing statement one. Hmm. Hold on. Ooh, that's a big boy bite. Hmm. Effect? Oh. <clears throat> well, I can press the other statements while I wait, right? I just won't press that one. And I can press it when you... Oh, you, you just send it. Alright, I got it. Hold on. This tech stuff is beyond me, that's for sure. <laughs> I don't understand how any of this shit works. I'm just glad the application of it is... Uh, like... It's, it's, it's genius proof. <laughs> Bad HTML. I don't even know what that means, dude. <laughs> I have no idea what that means. <clears throat> we change the files, reload the save. What do you mean? I don't have to do that. It works. See? <clears throat> I see. That is the only thing you can do with hearing a do, do when hearing a dog whistle. That too is one of the three major faults of Japanese DNA. So there's this, the thing with stray cats. What's the last one? Opinions vary, but as for me personally, I think it's that if you see a dishonest adult, you have to punch them to correct their behavior. What? That's not what I heard. <clears throat> I heard that they always mess up when they're trying to say, Kitty caught a kitten by the kitchen. Don't cause any more damage to the Japanese DNA. Anyway, so you heard a dog whistle at 11 p.m. This is likely crucial testimony that we'll understand the meaning of later. As if. Yep, it's useless. Is there any point in me testifying then? I got into a car at 10 a.m. on that day, realized I didn't have a license, and started balling. <laughs> realized that sooner! Whose car was this to begin with, anyway? Come now, flooring it along a coastal ridge without a license? Good twirl. It's commonplace for tofu makers. Punctually is a woodcutter, damn it! I want a homemade tofu delivery service too. Well, aren't you something? <laughs> I chased after a stray cat with a fish in its mouth at 5 p.m., but I was barefoot and it hurt, so I started bawling. If I seriously, <laughs> if I seriously found a stray cat with a fish in its mouth in the modern day, I'm sure I'd take a ton of pictures to get likes on Instagram. You'd probably put a fish into its mouth yourself. Going too far to get likes on Instagram is ethically harmful to your surroundings. Etiquette says that if you see a stray cat with a fish in its mouth, you chase after it barefoot. You don't see anything wrong with suddenly taking your shoes off outside, huh? By the way, etiquette doesn't matter when catching the cat. You have to chase it to the ends of the, the earth. And it requires the use of super speed. It's so hard, of course, it'd make you want a ball. 
I don't want a DNA that carries that fate. Good thing you're not Japanese, Alice. Super speed. Yeah, is there anything wrong with that? Just to confirm, you can't make body doubles, right, Patchy? Right, I haven't studied that kind of con convenient magic or arts. I see. Whew, I really don't want to hold anything heavy right now. You want me to use a dumbbell there? That reminds me, the food I had at the Nishinari soup kitchen at 8 a.m. made me remember prison food, so I started bawling. <clears throat> but it's not like prison food is anything too bad these days, right? The higher-ups would be held accountable if any issues arose with prisoner health, after all. Prison food promises better nutrients than soup kitchens, so you gradually get healthier during your incarceration. It's hard to tell when it's even a punishment anymore. What a splendid social commentary! This trial's just getting more and more virtuous! Ignoring all that, so you're saying you were a Nishinari during that period, right? There's no Nishinari in Gensokyo! Then what are you trying to say? Come on, don't talk like that. You're devaluing the fantasy setting. This game has Cockney English. Oh, don't do that again. But we don't have an East End or even a London in this world. <clears throat> that kind of thing's super common. But really, how do they communicate over there? That place is like another world. I give up. <clears throat> a huge earthquake hit my school at one in the afternoon and the aftershock was scary, so I started- <laughs> I wanna eat sushi! This is crucial testimony. In mysteries, it's common for perfect crimes to crumble when the times of earthquakes, blackouts, and the like come to light. Mm -mm. The time the earthquake occurred and the time of the murder, if we can figure out the connection between them, it'll lead us to the truth for sure. But the time of the murder hasn't been made clear throughout this trial. And if it hasn't been made clear, that means... One, two, three! That it's not relevant to the incident! Then why are they bothering to testify about their alibis? From that perspective, that'd mean their alibis aren't relevant either, wouldn't it? Well, noticed. Which means all that's relevant right now is what's already in our evidence. Like, maybe we should give the murder weapon another look! Oh, there's another one of those blatant hints the first case is known for. What's even going on? You know, is asking about their alibis even going to help us if we don't know when the murder was was committed? I hit the wrong button. You didn't realize? In the midst of that testimony, there was a strange statement. I'd consider all of that strange. Just one strange witness. Let's think about why that could be the case. If we can get to that point, all that's left is to present evidence. Some nice heavy hitting evidence. I don't really get it, but let's just try presenting whatever, I guess. The autopsy's been updated. Classic. <clears throat> Wasn't this, all, wasn't this all the same? Why is the why is the graphic on the A button not translated? This was translated before. You you were talking about the floor plan? That's the photo. The comic. It's not like we'll get a game over after all. <clears throat> yeah, Rainbow shopping list, that's what it was. Don't break the fourth wall! Ah, uh, the ocean of absurdities. Alright, before I present my evidence. Big boy bite. Mm.
another one. <clears throat> I'm almost done. Patchy, what are you doing with that dumbbell? <clears throat> Crap! If I hold this heavy dumbbell, my super speed! It. It. Unbelievable. Bust end! They disappeared! The three sisters disappeared! Thank God! Huh? The sisters disappeared from the witness stand when they'd make it over to the Vences bench anyway. <clears throat> eh, whatever. It's not like suddenly disappearing is anything weird in Gensokyo anyway. Yeah, celebrities disappear from public view all the time. Stop it, don't go there. No, no, no. What's going on here? We've had a non-stop chain of big developments. It's like how they show off the very beginning of the original story's upcoming super long story arc in the second to last episode of one core anime. I'm gonna have to read that again. It's like how they show off the very beginning of the original story's upcoming super long story arc in the second to last episode of one... Yeah. No, I get that now. I know what that is referring to. I love that. No, it's when the, the season ends and it sets up the next arc in the manga, but then you never get a season two. Look forward to part two! And then it ends! Yep. Hmm, this dumbbell's heavier than I thought. I can't maintain my super speed anymore. What is this about? What relation does speed have to your sisters? I want you to think back. Think back to my sisters and I. Hmm. <clears throat> Jesse, James, Yarth! No, that's the wrong language. See you next week, kids. Bada bada Suzuku. Done. No more food interruptions. Let's get into the back into the game. As you can see, our focus is misdirected via the use of soul chat dialogue. First, excluding when my sisters first showed up, no more than one of us was ever shown on screen at the same time. I'd assumed it was just too much hassle to make graphics for them. Next up is the timeline. Think back carefully on the actions of my sisters and I. Once you pop, you just can't stop. Wait a second. If you pop when there's only one chip left, are you forced to stop? In what scenario is there only one chip left in the can? Mind popping. The crowd is displeased at the new slogan. The way these lines were written is almost as if they're trying to show us there were multiple people present. We were all tricked into thinking the three knowledge sisters really existed. That's right. In other words, jackhammer time. <laughs> oh, 
It was a narrative trick! Wow, I've never seen a narrative trick before! That's because they're bad! Ah, oh, this is ridiculous! Yo, she's doing the Von Karma. <laughs> I used my super speed to fool everyone when they first showed up during my cross-examination. But holding that black lump of metal was just too much for me, and I could no longer maintain my speed. But didn't you just say you didn't know body double magic or arts, Patchy? That's right! It's not martial arts either! It's a side effect of my base stats! You can't even call it a technique! That sure sounds like something you made up to not contradict yourself. Sakuya! The Patchy sisters disappeared! What do we do? <laughs> oh. It's all right, mistress. Lady Patchy Lee said it was just a narrative trick. Okay, I guess it's fine then. Bye-bye, Captain and Pachi. To think she'd carry out such a plan for confusion's sake, even knowing it could risk her own position. She could be capable of great success if she were to only to put her efforts in other places. <clears throat> I didn't read that line. Now just you wait! What happened to the matter of your alibi? Like I said, if we don't know when the murder took place... <laughs> alibis are pointless! Ah! Ah! It appears we're back to square one! We don't even know the starting point! She's gone back to being angry, for better or for worse. Oh well, nothing to do about it. Now then, you've all waited long enough. Let's call the final witness. The final witness is final form. So it's finally time. If I can make it through this, the incident will remain shrouded in darkness. <laughs> As for this final witness, how do I put this? It'll, well, sort of be over once I call her. You're not really supposed to do this in mysteries. That's why I saved it for last. I no longer expect much from this judge. Okay, come on in! I have a feeling I know who it is. <laughs> um, there's nobody there? I'm right here! Yep. <laughs> I fucking knew it. Whoosh! Here I am! That's right! The final witness in this incident is this incident's victim. Sayoji Yuko herself. So? So? Were you surprised? We've got a trial where the victim herself gets to testify. How unprecedented! How rare! Lady Yu Yu, you're alive! I mean, I was dead to begin with. I couldn't care less! I'm just glad you're okay. That's right, I'm okay. And now that this trial savior is here... She's going to end this trial in one fell swoop! Yuko. The ghost mistress of Hakugokuro as well as the victim. Perhaps because this was a ghost murder, nobody actually cares. <laughs> huh? You're all awfully quiet. Look, it's me, the victim! The victim is acting as a witness! To 
This has never happened in a murder case before. Come on, look, look! To be honest, I kind of expected this from the moment Yomu first showed up. What? Um, indeed, the three Knowledge Sisters had this twist beat in terms of raw impact. I'm a little embarrassed that I even hyped this up so much. This isn't enough to surprise me anymore. Lots of people guessed this would happen after the trial version, after all. <laughs> it's a good thing we did that retrospective. I'm not the least bit surprised at Yiko showing up. Hmm. No way. My surprise appearance. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. What's with this cold reaction from all of you? The dead victim is before our very eyes. This is the best news we could possibly hear. That's right. You were told I died, but I... I... Is she gonna eat that? Huh? What's this halo? Lady Yuko? Is this... No, don't tell me. Am I... In someone else's body? That's wrong, goddammit! You were a ghost to begin with, so it's not like it's weird for you to get a halo if you died, right? Yeah, you ain't pulling that spirit medium shit here. You'd have the police all over you if you did that in a fan work, though. No, I think they'd probably be pretty okay with this halo gag. Anyway, the final witness ended up being rather lacking in impact, but let's go ahead and get this trial over with. I'm on, Your Honor. But you're right. This is the end. We can just ask the victim who killed her, after all. This is far more reliable than having a spirit medium channel the dead like in the originals. Eh, what I tell ya? Eh, what I tell ya? She's right! This will finally prove my innocence. Coop, coop, coop. How naive. Don't you remember what happened last time? Ah, this is like with the black white earlier. In other words. In order words. In other words. Do you plan on bribing Yuko too, Patchy? Good grief, just what do you think I am? I do want nothing more than for this incident to be resolved. Huh, you do? That's right. As long as this incident is solved, interestingly, there's no issue. In the game sense, that is. There goes the fourth wall again. Let's hear some decisive evidence from this witness then. Tell us what happened when you were killed! Don't worry, Lady Yu Yu. I'll protect you from these scoundrels. I'm counting on you, Yomu. She doesn't seem very worried. This isn't my squishy marshmallow, Yuko. The moment I was killed. I don't remember a thing from when I was killed, to be honest. I mean, I'm dead by default, after all. I'm not exact, it's not exactly anything special to me. But I do have clear memory of the pain I felt when I was struck and fell as a result. I think I was probably struck... 873,980,004 times all over. And thanks to that, I got... FF... What is this number? Three, six, nine, twelve trillion, ninety-nine billion, nine hundred ninety-nine million, nine hundred ninety-nine thousand, nine hundred ninety-nine bone fractures, give or take. Okay. You don't have that many bones in your body to fracture. It's a big number. Are you really content with a master like her, Yomu? 
Absolutely. Is that so? I'll leave the matter be then. I see. So the odd amount of blood force injuries and bone fractures in your autopsy were because you fell. That kind of number would impossible would impossible would be impossible without a 3D collision bug or something. Why is she telling us how many times she was struck? Also, how are these numbers counted for the autopsy to begin with? According to the coroner, guess what? <laughs> Apparently, I guess it works. If it's guesswork, then it doesn't belong in the autopsy report. So are you unable to remember the culprit's face, Lady Yu? No, I was too focused on drinking my fried chicken. What do you mean drinking my fried chicken? There's no mistaking it was non-katsu fried chicken then. Stop making it sound like a beverage. <laughs> You'd do well to not underestimate Saigyoji Yuko. I don't have a faultry memory like Yomu does. I almost said faultry. <laughs> I wanted to say paltry. Indeed, as the final witness, it won't do if you don't present a suitable challenge. In other words, there's no way I mistake the precise amount of times I was struck or the bone fractures I received. Wait, stop sending us such obvious, obvious flags. That's a flag indicating she is wrong about the numbers then, isn't it? A round of applause for everyone who just opened their evidence to check! Stop trying to blatantly play for laughs like that, Patchy. This is so obvious it makes you doubt whether she's really a second half witness at all. I will cut away this unpleasant atmosphere enveloping you, Lady Yu. Jeez, Yomu, you're such a worrywart. By the way, what's this trial for? <laughs> it's not like I mind that I have a halo now. Don't ask that question, we're way too far in for that now. Now then, is the defense prepared to... Wait, of course you are! It's obvious where you're meant to present. Go on, hurry up! You got it, ma'am. I'll present right after I'm done pressing, ma'am. Blech. <laughs> All right, so first I present the mistress. The witness's statement contradicts this evidence. Is that your final answer? I'd like to ask the audience. Very well, members of the audience, please press one of the buttons in front of you. Yeah. What do I do? I don't know the answer. Guess I've gotta just pick one, huh? She's not funny, pick the wrong answer. Who cares? Let's talk about Mega Man X. I'd always turn the game on, walk away, and then get scared by the warning sirens in the intro. The audience has decided to award you the penalty. <laughs> that settles it. The 50-50 is the best choice. Before you use the 50-50, I'd like to ask... Which two answers are you struggling to pick from? There it is. That question's a trap. They always leave those two choices if you answer. Good grief. They made nothing but celebrity specials near the end. No wonder the Japanese version died off. Yeah, I certainly can't get on board with making the rich even richer. What are you talking about? Well, I gotta save just in case I get infinite thinking phased again. It's a tough fight ahead. You were hit from behind, so it's totally normal that you uh, wouldn't have seen the culprit's face. Wow, that's the first lawyer-like statement you've made today, Patchy. What? With your knives. Hey now, just who do you think Patchy is? She's a defense attorney. Show her some respect. 
The mistress has bared her fangs. You say that, but I don't see her defending me. <laughs> You're the defendant, so be quiet and watch. Even if you get a guilty verdict. Slash. I can't just stay quiet if that's at stake. Look at where one proper statement brought us. It really highlights just how bizarre this trial really is. Yeah, double space there. Wow, I didn't even say anything fancy, but just look at them keep on talking. Testimony sure is neat, huh, Yomu? That reminds me, there used to be this fad called the pressing game that was popular among grade schoolers. You would just press every single thing someone said, apparently. Isn't that just a communication disorder? There was a fad where you gave whoever you were talking to options like a visual novel, too. You'd let them choose, then continue talking based on their choice. Tabletop games can trace their lineage right back to talking games like these. Uh, derailed yet again. Anyway, it's not strange I wouldn't remember anything from when I died. I mean, I'm dead by default, after all. It's not exactly anything special for me. That's right, death is nothing special. It's always there by your side. So don't hate it. Just accept it when the time comes. Who taught you that? A TED Talk! That's right! You get to do whatever you want like me once you're dead, after all. Being dead is awesome! I love you! You love me! We're a happy family! I love you! You love me! We're a happy family! Yeah! <laughs> you missed a space, though. Unless you're an earthworm, a mole cricket, or a pond skater, you guys aren't part of the family. I'm half dead, and it's not like it's making it any more difficult to live my life. That's right, humans can do anything if they're prepared for death. So sign for this payment plan and buy this blessed pot! You're telling me that was all a lead up to some shady religious solicitation? Preparedness for death isn't something you force on others. Just remember that and you'll be fine. So it was just more shallow derailing drivel. Alice is just part of the show. Bonk. Bonk. Metal Gear Solid V, the Phantom, half Phantom Pain. I know it's five. You're already contradicting your prior statement. And hold on, can ghosts even feel pain to begin with? My, how rude. Yes, of course us ghosts still feel pain. For example... Hey, Yomu! Silence! I'll kill you! Wow, that's an... Damn. That's a fucking ancient reference! <laughs> Do you guys not have phones? Well, that one's not as ancient. That is not as ancient. What is Yomu saying? I turned myself- I turned myself into a pickle! Lady Yu Yu! I'm Pickle Yomu! Lady Yu Yu, here's a 66 second survival card. It might come in handy if you, the mistress of the Haku Gokuro, take it with you. I should have been the one to fill your dark soul with light! Youch! See? That hurts so much to listen to. I'm cringing! In other words, ghosts can feel pain. It looks to me like the one who's in the most pain here is Yomu herself. I yearn for death. <laughs> Getting over a hundred million injuries from merely falling over. That's absolutely not. Ooh, the triple. Out of the realm of impossibility. It's certainly very possible if she got stuck in a wall and bunked out really badly. Uh, so the assertion to... The assertion you two are trying to make is that Yuko fell, and then bugged out. 
Precisely. Hmm, I just don't. Okay, sure. Even if I bug out, I'd respawn, so it's okay. And if you really have to, you can just reboot. That'll work for any fully-fledged player controllable character. Aw, I'm only half-fledged, so I guess I can't respawn, can I? Okay. They're both totally aware of the fact they're in a game, huh? Video game characters gaining their own sense of self could make for quite the compelling theme. Saguya, we're video game characters too, so shouldn't we start questioning our existence? Nobody will be able to keep up with what's going on if you keep blatantly breaking the fourth wall, mistress. Okay, so should we just stay on rail and read the lines we were given without thinking about it? Yes, we should. More people will be able to follow that than they would meta humor. Okay. Exclude the meta humor if you want, but I think we've lost a lot of people already. <laughs> Thanks to that, I got FF12. You knew I was going to butt in here. The human body only has roughly 200 bones! This gigantic number can't be right! Like I said, it's guesswork! That explains nothing! C -c -c -c. What a shallow way of thinking. If you don't have enough joints, just make more! If you're lacking in bones, just make more! Oh, okay! Yeah, that makes sense! Chat, wouldn't it be cool if you could bend your arm seven times? <laughs> connecting from your wrist to your shoulder. Seven bends. Woo! Crackly! <laughs> Keep breaking them. Breaking them and breaking them. Keep it up long enough and you've got an incremental game. If you keep it up until the, at until the atomic level, you can reach the total the witness is asserting. And when you reach that number, people use this word. <laughs> Commuted in fracture! Then just write that to begin with! Well, I had commutative fractures? Was I hit with ultrasonic vibrations or something? It certainly is interesting watching you all theorize about what amounts to guesswork. If I'd known you would do this, I would have put in guesswork numbers in all sorts of other places. Die! <laughs> yep, this will be an easy one. There's a clear difference between the number she said and what's in the evidence, after all. Oh, so you know it is too, Patchy. Of course, this is a courtroom game. It's all about... It's all about finding contradictions between testimony and evidence. Something incomprehensible like what happened with that dumbbell earlier would never happen normally, after all. Coo-coo-coo. Differences in numbers are so obvious, there's no need to even have a hint here. But that in and of itself is a hint. It's hints all the way down! Hmm. <laughs> How much is she off by? Eight seven three nine eight zero 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 four. Eight seven three nine eight zero zero zero. Wait, no, she's right. Eight seven three nine eight zero 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 four. Huh? I've got you now. <laughs> Wait, she's not wrong. What are you talking about? Cuckoo, there's a clear contradiction in your testimony. Feast your eyes on this autopsy report. Huh? You did an autopsy on me? You didn't know? Look here, the autopsy report says you received. <laughs> That's not what it says, 
it all! What? No! No, I didn't- wait, it does say that. The autopsy report says she received 551,427 bone fractures. We're talking community fractures either way, aren't we? No, I got it right, Chad. I got it right. Wrong formula, right answer. And according to your testimony, just now... What? A new move? You said he received... Oh, I'm not reading that number again. This is a clear contradiction. You're right, that is a contradiction. Yeah, well, I guess it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Hold on, I'm looking for the... There's no control button. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, Chat, how do I pull up the log? Shit. How do I pull- how do I pull up the- there's no log? Oh no. I just skipped like five pieces of dialogue. <clears throat> I saved, right? I saved in the cross-examination, so. Let's just- let's just go back. So I was supposed to present here, but it worked in the other one as well. <laughs> Good. You're right, that is a contradiction. Yeah, well, I guess it is. I mean, the numbers aren't the precise- aren't precisely the same, but so what? The number in the report was guesswork to begin with, so, well, it's not odd that it's different. Hey, come on now, you don't get it, do ya? When I point out minute- minute- That's minute, right? Like, minute and irrelevant, not minute and irrelevant? Is minute- uh, whatever. Minute and irrelevant contradictions- the witness is supposed to start prattling on about stuff nobody asked about. What? Is that how it works? Indeed, it is standard for even pointless observations like this one to lead to more testimony. Isn't this some sort of intimidation too? When numbers like these show up, it's only natural to doubt them right off the bat. I personally just want someone to rip into how they're over 10 digits long. Goodness, you're breaking all the conventions countless games have set up for us to follow. And I don't like it! She's just trying to trick you, Lady Yu Yu. You mustn't fall for it. Just because Lady Yu Yu got a number wrong, that doesn't ruin the rest of her testimony. It's nonsensical enough that she can count her own bone fractures to begin with, though. You got bones? What kind of ghost got bones? I guess we'll have to follow conventions then. Chat, does Yuko have bones? Do ghosts have bones? Or is she like, just like, floopy? You know? Is she, she's gotta be weightless, right? She's probably weightless. Well, why would she have bones? She's a ghost. What does she need those for? She doesn't need bones. What if she's like, you know, she's just, what, what if she has the consistency of a bedsheet? Which, when you think about it, what is a ghost if not a walking bedsheet? You know what I mean? So maybe you go, maybe you go waste as much as a loose bedsheet. So you just pick her up and you can air her out. Grab her by the hand and give her a flick. Whoosh. <laughs> That's just how the adult world is, Yomu. Lady Yu Yu, this isn't fair. 
I'll fix this world myself. Oh, so does that mean you wish to amend your testimony, witness? Hold on, Yiko. There's no need for you to listen to. As long as we remain game characters, we're unable to swim against the grand ties that dictate our actions. Are you trying to stir up the whole our game character self-aware debate again? Are you sure, though? Do you really want me to testify the truth? Chi? I don't particularly mind that I was killed. I figured it was fine if the trial ended without a solid conclusion. But... I mean, if this is what you want. And I suppose let's corner the criminal. Oh, how very final witness-like of you. And how very final flag-like, too. I'm impressed, Yuyuko. You're going to compliment her for that? I am still a former final boss, after all. Stage one boss now. How wonderful! We've finally reached this trial's finale! It was absolutely worth throwing things into chaos just to reach this moment! Just be ready for your own impeachment hearing. Allow me to show you this trial's final testimony. Yomu! Yes, my lady. Age and blend your testimony and mine together, and I want it on the rocks. I see. You're saying that by combining our facts, we'll be able to see the truth. Come on, then. We've come this far, so I'll see this through to the end, too. I'm gonna put an end to, all to this trial. Alice is when. Grr. Patchy's opponents are gonna team up and attack her. Saguya, let's team up with Patchy and annihilate them. But mistress, any further forgery will just result in rehashing the same gag. Lady Patchy has to overcome what lies ahead on her own. We can't help her out when she needs it most? Don't worry, Remy. I won't lose to this slander. No matter what my foe may testify, I still have them. Those magic words that let me escape from any and all responsibility. My Twitter was hacked! <laughs> yeah? This wasn't localized, by the way. <laughs> you can say whatever the fuck you want if you follow it up with that. The incident's res conclusion. Patchouli and Marissa were there at the scene. One of them is the culprit, in other words. Let's just kill both of them! That Tengu was there too, so I guess the culprit could be any of those three. Let's kill all three of them, then! <laughs> I was a fool for believing in the final witness. Uh, so were you two really content with that as your testimony? <laughs> You're all too naive. You should know what comes next. Pressing my testimony will make it expand. Go on then, press me. I'll press you all right. You're the last person who should be thinking about the game mechanics. Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> what should we do, Patchy? Her testimony doesn't mean anything on its own. Presenting evidence won't do anything. Good grief, what an obnoxious note to end on. We did an evaluation earlier. I said the game was too long. I can't let her drag out the trial any further. I'll press you just like you've asked. Oh, how climactic. B before we even touch on that. Do we even need Yomu's testimony? Personally, since Lady Yu Yu ended up being okay, I'll be content cutting anyone! Someone arrest her already? Very well, it's finally time for the climax! All the facts up until now will become one! It's time to begin the last finale climax's deduction! There's no deducing to be done here. 
All right, well, one of the texts, presenting one of the texts has got to be correct. But I assume it'll be a new one I get, so... You know. Let's be safe. Okay, next game. For this one, we're going to roleplay being in a courtroom. You'll be the judge, and I'll be the defense. However, we have to end each of our lines with, if you know what I mean, all lines must be innuendo. Got it. Your Honor, I'd like to present some evidence. If you know what I mean. Okay, defense, let's see it. I expect something substantial. If you know what I mean. I believe the court will find my line of reasoning to be solid. If you know what I mean. I just hope it lasts longer than your previous evidence. If you know what I mean. Yeah. Not making digs at the other player. <laughs> you don't understand, your honor. The digs are what make the show funny. Well, that sure was interesting. Wouldn't you agree, Yomu? Do kids these days even watch Who's Lying? Yeah, the new generation might not be able to follow Who's Lying jokes. You do know this is the trial, right? 9 out of 10 sociopaths agree! You gotta see Hakugoku- Hakugojugichi! I don't know if Who's Lying is in any way is still on, uh... Is still on, like, new episodes, but... I watched Who's Lying. Whose line was hilarious? So, uh, <laughs> my one of my favorites. I mean, it's a classic meme. It's a classic meme. It's like uh, something that would uh, very quickly start a fight. <laughs> that was like the prompt, and I think it was uh, it was I think it was the tall guy. I can't remember his name. He's just like, you guys want to start a fight? I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is meant to be the final testimony, but there's kind of no substance to it. We'll just have to press them for new testimony like Yuyuko said. It sure is strange being told that by the witness, huh? Life is strange! Come now, I'm not going to run or hide. So keep on pressing, pressing, and pressing. That was his name, Ryan Stiles. Yeah, I remember him because the first time I ever saw him on te television was in Two and a Half Men. He was, uh... He was, uh, I don't... He was Alan's... He was Alan's wife's, uh, like, new husband. Man. Well, climax or not, this is still only the first case. Blatant hints are still to be expected. Naturally, this trend... ...will continue all the way to the last case! Let the players deduce things just a little patchy. Alright. Go. Go? Good grief, how long are we gonna keep arguing about this? I wasn't at the scene of the murder that day. This China woman was there, not me! Your forged evidence won't work anymore. I'll expose everything. Go on, Yuko. Continue your testimony. My voice is just cracking naturally now. Goodness, my memory should be the best evidence you could ask for. Come on, Patchy. Let's stop trying to pin the blame on me, okay? It's nothing but constant unpleasantries from each and every one of you. Yuko has yet to provide concrete testimony as to who the culprit is. Indeed, the witness's testimony is rather vague for a climax. Therefore, this court requests further testimony procured by means of pressing. We finally hit the point where even the judge has to make these requests. The culprit is either Marissa or Apache Lee, who were both at the scene. <laughs> what am I supposed to do next? 
What do you mean? I see. This is unexpected. Seeing as you're the final witness, you spoke big. But it seems you took the stand without putting an actual any actual thought in any of this. You're like a young employee being forced to do something entertaining on the spot at a welcome party for new hires. Well, I really feel for you. <laughs> you okay, Alice? Gee, 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 gee. Time to listen to the final witness, are you? <laughs> With this, the trial will end in darkness. I will supplement my mistress's testimony. Huh? Supplement? But your testimony was just... <laughs> Let's just kill both of them. We've come so far, I'm begging you, don't throw away the progress we've made. I mean, personally, since Lady Yu Yu ended up being okay. I couldn't care less about the truth. Neither could I. Neither could I. Neither could I. Your Honor! I guess slashing really would be the best solution here. Slash the life, as they say. Hmm, I'll just get slashed if I agree. Let's say I'm strongly opposed. Hmm, slaughtering everyone should be our last resort. For now, let's just continue deliberating. I don't think Alice is gonna make it to the end of this trial. <laughs> She's vibrating. Ugh. Wow. That was that was my computer. I just don't worry about that. Now that you mentioned it, I'd totally forgotten. That bird brain Tengu was at the scene, too. There are three culprits, the rest should be simple. Isn't that right, Yobu? Yes, ma'am. My limit break should be enough to kill all three in one in an instant. I'm talking about rabbits. Stop making Yobu talk! The story's going to branch off into Minago Shuriheden. Minagoro Shihen. Indeed, having two witnesses is a rather special case. However, Yobu, you've already testified plenty, so this court would ask that Yuyuko provide the bulk of this testimony. That's the name of a Higurashi chapter. Oh, which one? I watched Higurashi like seven years ago or something like that. Well, I'm sorry, I should have kept quiet. It's okay, Yomu. After all... I legitimately have no idea what else to say anyway! Just die! And you too, Yiko! Die a third time! <laughs> Let's kill all three of them then! Your Honor! That statement just now was clearly an attempt at intimidation. I don't want to hear that from you! Poor Alice. Now, now, Young was not yet in her prime, so cut her some slack, would ya? Ugh. Indeed, I'm not yet in my prime. I don't count as a full person. Exclamation mark. You don't count as a full person. What is it, Patchy? Yomu doesn't count as a person. In other words, if we subtract Yomu from the list of those present at the scene... Then we... Oh, this is... Yeah, it's not important in particular. Don't make it sound like it is! Good grief, you're still so green. Discarding something just because it's not important. You'll never grow your industry like that. What are you talking about? 
Your Honor, the defense believes this statement to be of absolutely no importance. Please have it be added to the testimony. Eh? Eh, just to confirm, you want to add it because it's not important? Yes, 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 yes! What's the deal with adding testimony that's not important? I know, we can just... We can just buy the winning horse tickets and guarantee a profit. Let's do that. Wrong buy. This is how our nation keeps declining. We'll end up as a tourist stop in the end. Who cares? Let's criticize the difficulty in Castlevania 2. Unsurprisingly, the whole court seems to be confused about this. She wants an unimportant opinion to be added? Sakuya, what's going on here? <laughs> this trial has been full of such developments, mistress. Goodness, I guess if you really want, I just need to add some test. I just need to add some testify. You mean testimony, right? Add some testimony about Yomu being not in her prime, yes? Yes, 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 yes! Yes, 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 yes! I can't believe me being not yet in my prime is going to be part of our testimony. Ah, oh, I nearly forgot! Does the prosecution have any issue with this? It appears not! Very well then! Witness, please add the statement to your testimony! Uh, Alice... <laughs> Yomu's not yet in her crime, so she doesn't count as a full person. Crime? You mean prime? What are you talking about? I see. I seize an opportunity for you to have included it in your testimony. Ooh, the triple. That means not yet in her crime must not be a typo then. Ah, you're right. She really did say crime. N not yet in her crime. What's the meaning of this, Patchy? She's not yet in her crime. In other words, she's like a baby criminal. But soon she'll become a criminal for real. What? I mean, you shouldn't be so surprised. You were a criminal from the moment you started swinging those swords around. <laughs> Alice would usually be one to butt in here. What's going on with her? Thank you for the raid, Naro. <laughs> you showed up right at the end of the case, though. This is gonna make absolutely no sense, but I promise you, I 100% promise you, even if you were here from the very beginning, this would still make absolutely zero <laughs> sense. Uh, am I really going to become a criminal, Lady Yu Yu? Ah! Um... Well... Sorry, it really was just a typo! Oh. You can't... Then fix it! Fix it during testing! Uh, Alice? That should have been your line. Whew! Die multiple times sure does give you a fuzzy memory. <laughs> I won't let you use the same excuse twice. <laughs> First the number of bone fractures. And now a typo. In other words. Bonk. 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 This witness's memory can't be trusted. Do you really think so? A wrong number and a typo? Hmm... The typo wasn't even Yuyuko's fault. <laughs> Please wake up, Alice. This is 
is ridiculous! Lydia, you was the final witness! Lapses in memory are only supposed to happen for the first two or three witnesses tops. Let me ask this then. Do you remember what you had for dinner last night? Only the first 100 things. <clears throat> Q, P, D, my proof has been shown. What? I should have brought Flan today. Wouldn't things be even more hectic if the young mistress were here too? No, I want to see, I want to see the young mistress. I want to see little Flan. Anyway, it looks like Patsy's gonna win for sure. Don't you think? It appears that way. It was a messy trial, but it seems the incident will end in darkness. Uh, Alice? Be gone, evil spirits! I stripped thee of my flesh! I think she's lost her fucking mind. Wow! Well, what's the meaning of this? Uh, Alice? You... Finally, broke. <laughs> oh shit! What I got it. Let's get naked. We selling real estate. I see. So the city slicker's stress from having to pretend to be sane has finally hit its limit. Yep, that's a thing, don't you know? Don't suddenly bring the darkness of modern society into this. There's a thing called Bikuri Suruhoto Utopia. Surprise in Utopia where you strip your clothes off, jump on your bed, spank yourself, and shout the phrase for 10 minutes to expel evil spirits. <laughs> what? <laughs> Somehow that explanation just, it just raises further questions. <laughs> Come on now. Uh, are you alright, Alice? Whatever. The witnesses don't matter anymore. In the end, people are alone. My dolls are the only friends I need. Your Honor, the prosecution indicts... Indicts? In, in, indicts? Oh, shit. Hold on. Hold on. Google. Ah. Uh. No, don't practice, you... Sound it. Indicts. Indicts. I did say, I had it right the first time. I've said this word before, but I had a, I had a lapse. Allow microphone permissions first. Say it slowly. Indicts. Indicts? Indicts. Okay, American pronunciation. How about the British pronunciation? Indicts. What? Indicts. Indicts? What's the difference? Indicts? Indicts. Indict. What? There's barely any difference. There's barely any difference. In Your Honor, the prosecution indicts Patchy Lee on suspicion of murder. Gee? You what? I don't need testimony from these stupid witnesses anymore. From here on out. I'll act as the witness myself. What? Yo, what? A prosecutor acting as witness? This trial's totally unprecedented. But the gags are so crazy that this is a little lacking in impact. In impact. Did someone say impact? Like, sudden impact? Let's talk about Big O. Showtime. But who will fill the role of prosecutor? No need to worry. I'll do that too. The drill. You must really be underestimating my dance power. Patchy, I don't think Alice is trying to face off against your dancing. Hmm, but this game, the genre is courtroom dance battle. Dance power should be essential here. This game's genre was changed to match the Dojin games of yore. Now how'd you know that? Alice is finally willing to approach the fourth wall. 
I haven't been facing off against your dancing from the very beginning anyway. I'm not even qualified to be a prosecutor. I'm just doing my best over here. In order to pursue the truth. She's the protagonist. What should we do, Patchy? Should we have a change of protagonists? C -c 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 the modern chuny way of thinking dictates that protagonist-like characters shouldn't be the protagonist. Whether the genre changes or not, this game's name is still Shady Trial. I'll make you see that I, the girl of shade... Aw, oh, yeah. And the true protagonist. Bring it on! <laughs> um, what should we... Oh, good work today. Sorry, you got killed and all that. You can go home now. At the time of the murder, there were three outsiders present, those being Marissa, Patchouli, and Shamemaru. Yomu was busy making fried chicken, and Shamemaru left the scene right away. If Marissa were the culprit, it wouldn't make sense for her to act except the bribe from Patchouli. Furthermore, throughout this trial, despite being her defense attorney, Patchouli has been treating Mailing as the culprit. These facts point to the defense, Patchouli, being the culprit responsible for everything. What's you talking about? <laughs> the process of elimination, eh? I know it's popular to use the process of elimination in mysteries. And that it's often enough for the culprit to confess their crime in detail for some reason. Fail the presentation last? Okay. But that won't work on me! Is that so? One hour dramas and one shot manga have to drop their confessions at mock speed due to time constraints, after all. Indeed, there is no decisive evidence. This testimony won't be sufficient on its own. That's precisely why I indicted her. From here on out, Patchouli herself will serve as the evidence. What do you mean by that? Come on then, press my testimony, and then I'll draw it out of you. The information that only the culprit would know. Sakuya, what's Alice trying to do? I see. She has no decisive evidence, so she intends to ask Lady Patchouli herself for information only the culprit would be privy to. If she can manage that, she can prove she committed the crime. It's a clever move. Is Patchy in trouble? Well, if Lady Patchouli stays silent, then she'll be just... Coo -coo -coo. How amusing! So you want to extract info from me, do you? Allow me to show you then. The Great Patchouli will take your testimony. And derail every last word! Ah, I figured as much. You're almost there, Patchy! Get him! Bring it on! Go on! Try me! Okay. That hurt my throat. <laughs> Soka. <laughs> All right. Now hold it right there. You're leaving her out on purpose, aren't you? There was one more person there. Forsooth, this China woman was there too. I knew you'd bring this back to me. And why are you Shakespeare now? The fact that you're putting the defendant you're supposed to be helping in the line of fire is already enough to make you suspicious. And how... And no matter how you try to explain it, the photo showing that mailing was present is clearly forged. Huh? What's that now? What'd you just call this... What'd you just call the sloppy edit? I said it was forged! Now stop showing it off, damn it! I see we're still intent on hurting me. <laughs> oh, oh, it's okay, Sakuya. 
You did your best. I understand how you feel, but this is a court of law. If you have a rebuttal, then present evidence to support it. I shouldn't need to present something to prove that this is a blatant forger. Forgery. Forgery. No matter how insignificant the observation, you have to present evidence. Thanks to that, everyone has to go through annoying lengths to progress even through, even though they already know the answer. That's the true dilemma of mystery games. Or, Mr. Space, by another name. Bonk. Bonk. Congressional deadlock! This corrupt government! Whether there's a forgery involved or not, the party with evidence holds the advantage. That's the method cultivated games... That's the method cultivated games cultivated... Redundancy. That's the method games cultivated over many years in order to restrict your freedom. Ugh, fine. Whatever. I'm not going to go d turn this into a debate about game mechanics. If we just remove suspects by process of elimination, we'll reach the truth sooner or later. A congressional deadlock isn't going to reach anything. What a terrifying ideology. I'm not responding to your derailment attempt. I'm not responding to your derailment attempt. So they were both acting alone, yet you're still treating me as the culprit. <clears throat> I do like the vibes you're putting out there. Stop launching pointless attacks on Alice's testimony with incomprehensible accents. In which case, tell us, what were you doing that day? <laughs> I won't fall for such an obvious ploy. I wasn't at the scene that day, but this China woman was. Too obvious, huh? But hey, hold on! No leading questions! Then do something about the intimidation and bribery, you lousy soon-to-be-impeached judge! Well, that was scary. The sheer anger behind your words. Well, yeah. She's been directing the conversation as the only same one this whole time. No matter what you ask, I won't fall for it. I'll derail any and every topic you bring up. Bring it on! She's gonna kill my throat. I didn't see that either, no. Impact. Bribery, come now, don't disgrace my good name. I simply gave my friends the thing, gave my friend the thing she wanted that I just so happened to have on me. Nonsense excuse won't work, even if this court allows it. I, Alice Margatroyd, will not. Huh? What about me? You had better be ready because I'm voting against you in the next general election. Oh, I'm not worried. Then, the general elections have never gotten a single judge to quit. This nation's dysfunctional state is causing problems here now! This courtroom's been dysfunctional from the very beginning, though. Anyway, with Marissa having fled the courtroom, we have no way to confirm the facts. That's right. Those facts are inside you, after all. Furthermore, throughout this trial, despite being her defense attorney, Fatshi has been treating Mei Ling as the culprit. Good grief, the prosecutor is supposed to ensure the defendant gets a guilty verdict. You're a failure of a prosecutor. I was never qualified to be one to begin with! Come to think of it, you were just kind of brought here without much thought, were you? This trial is at its twists and turns, but you've helped make it exciting. You know, I think you were actually a pretty good choice for the role. I'm fighting, so a tragedy like what's happened to me here never happens again. Good grief, well don't you sound like a protagonist. Go to that stuff in some free game. Oh, a sink or swim battle of ideas you'll see. 
Hey, Patchouli. I'd just like to ask. How much fried chicken did you have? Oh, Alice, that just won't work, I fear. Your leading questions are far too clear. It's not like I was asking about the day of the crime in particular or anything. Oh, well. Oh, she's not concerned with saving face anymore. Coo -coo -coo. Oh, Mailing, how foolish, how naive. Her conviction doesn't matter, I do believe. Those who never care about saving face are stronger than those who change course and decide to not care. Are you like this every day, Patchy? Oh? It's not like I was talking about me in particular or anything. Ugh. Now that ticks me off. And that's how it's done. Got it? Yeah, I lost this one. More importantly... <laughs> the facts point to the defense patch to be the culprit responsible for everything. Now then, why don't you go on and tell us? Exactly what makes me responsible for this crime? You struck Yuyiko in the back of the head with an iron dumbbell during the fried chicken party. You bribed Marissa, who witnessed your crime, then summoned Mei Ling there to be the culprit. And now, you've become Mei Ling's defense attorney, and you're trying to set her up as the culprit. That's the scenario you weave, Patchouli. Then why are we talking all this nonsense about retro great games in Congress? Because you keep derailing us! Nostalgic retro games? I don't recall a single conversation about nostalgic retro games. That's right, us old folks are making sure to behave in front of the young'uns. Who cares? Let's talk about Bio Miracle Boku Upa. Huh? Upa's not a nostalgic retro game. It ain't a week of Garfield, that's for sure. <laughs> what? Sakuya, there's some kind of big battle brewing in the courtroom. Patchouli has no arguments to make. All she can do is derail. I don't expect that she'll face Alice head on, but I have to wonder how she intends to make it through this. By the way, Patchouli... What? Nihongo! No! <laughs> What's it say? What's it say? Oh, it's, it's just the same line, but it wasn't cleared. What did Yuko say before you hit her? Whew, you really suck at leading questions. I don't think I could fall for that if I tried. Hmm, I know, but testimony continues until the witness throws in the towel. That's how this game works, and I'm going to use it against you. Nani? I never thought I'd see the game mechanics themselves exploited. I'm not giving it until you cough what you did. You cough up what you did. I'll use whatever method it takes, no matter how shoddy they might be. I will make you confess the truth. Wow, she sure makes for a good final witness. Using game mechanics against me. You're a clever scoundrel, Alice. But there's something you don't seem to understand. For you see, game mechanics... exist for the sake of the protagonist. What now, Patchy? Are you going to give up and admit your crime? Good grief! Do you really think I'd do that? But how in the world are you going to make Alice give up? We've already seen Alice's weakness rear its head in this trial, haven't we? Ah, you're right. She fails when she gets worked up. Coo-coo-coo. When things are going well, you have to be sure to check yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs> to take Alice down, there's something we'll have to obtain, even if it hurts me to do it. And that's some new evidence. Hurt? Wait, don't tell me. That's the hint. I gotta take a penalty. Bring it on. Yeah. 
guess it's time for a little pain. Ponder this evidence, evidence, your honor. Pardon? This evidence, evidence? Very well, let me have a ponder. This evidence. There's no way I'm letting you present evidence. Hold on now, what are you saying? I'm the judge here. Objection! Objection! I have nothing but objections! I've played along with this farce for a trial for long enough! Hmm. You're all going to listen to me now! Eek! You're saying the same thing my adolescent period, revolutionary period, high school son does! You have a son? eggy has got a son? Good grief, so you're trying to control the trial for yourself, are you? That's a hard no from me. I kill anyone who doesn't value life. You stole that line from Theru. Theru didn't say that. But more importantly, who's Theru? Come on, you're getting a penalty. Take it and deal with it. Good grief, you think you can just do whatever you want. This is payback for what I've had to deal with. Besides, I'm managing to run this trial better than all of you were anyway. She's from a poorly received Ghibli film I've already forgotten the name of. Huh. Well, what do we do, Patchy? She's just rejecting our evidence. Good grief, she did a real number on me. But as a result... Check this out. We've got some new evidence. Mysterious metal. Where did that come from? A metal that was in the UI looks like it fit into something, solving some sort of secret. What the? What? Where? Did, what's that? Where did that even come from? It popped out from the HP gauge when it blew up just now. What? You can put things in there? I'm running out of breath, chat. If Alice is going to use game mechanics against me, then I'll just use the game UI on her. We've suddenly got a fierce Dojin game battle. Color, huh? Uh-oh. Slash color. Huh. I have to present the mysterious metal. Oh. A metal that was in the UI. Looks like it fit into something, solving some sort of secret. Your Honor, use this! What's this? A metal? Now that I take a closer look, this looks like it fit perfectly in this depression in my stand. Let's see here. What's the meaning of this? It's a perfect fit! Huh? Hmm? What's with the shaking? Whoa, there's a protrusion coming out from my stand! Ah, there's something written on it. Patchouli isn't the culprit. <laughs> okay. This? This is decisive evidence! I've located hell! It's here! We're goddamn living in it! Ah, this is ridiculous! Warm gobbles! Ah, you're kidding me! You're kidding me! Alice broke the sequel. Sakuya, what's going on? Lady Patchouli actually went and set up Went set up such an intricate contraption Went and set up set up such an intricate contraption Why why does that count? This Evidence! Why does that count as decisive evidence? 
Maybe you don't understand this because of your lack of prosecutor qualifications, but public buildings have a special trait. By inserting metals or reliefs into depressions of the same size and shape, or by putting objects atop the hands of goddess statues, or by inserting a red stone in a blue stone somewhere, or by playing shoot music on a piano. A lot of Resident Evil re uh, references here, huh? That's how- I, that's the Moonlight Sonata that you play, and that's how you get one of the M.O. discs. <laughs> you put in the red gem and the blue gem. You can trigger me mechanisms that let you obtain new items! Resident Evil 2! <laughs> Wait, did you do that in Resident Evil 2 as well? No, the blue stone and the red stone and the sheet music was RE1. She says two for whatever reason. All right. All right, whatever, it's fine. Yeah, because the Raccoon City Police uh, Department was remodeled from an old art gallery. That's why there's a bunch of puzzles and shit in it. But what I'm saying is specifically playing the piano and inserting the two gems is an RE1 puzzle that I am very familiar with. Because one gets you the gold emblem to put above the fireplace in the dining room and the other one gets you ammo and an ammo disc. And the ammo discs are required for the good ending. You need all three of them. Indeed, inconvenient hidden doors are a special privilege granted to public property. That's... that's not... no! Uh, uh, I won't... allow this. Cut this nonsense out. You can't just... I'm gonna make this pencil and disappear! Hey now, don't announce your intent to commit a crime in this courtroom. Do something about the actual crimes! And how do you even recognize that line to begin with? Nice bird noise. That's enough. Rest. Don't give me that nonsense. The incident isn't over yet. No, it's over. We've wasted a lot of time, but we've finally reached the end. We have? That's right. Allow me to present the true culprit behind this incident. What? It's been a long road. Wait, no, I sh I didn't get the, I forgot. Are, are you sure it's okay not to reload? I didn't even think of that. I just went ahead and did it. All right, all right. It's been a long road. Such a long winding road. So much happened along the way. Raymond was annoying. Marissa fled the courtroom. And that tanker was annoying. Yoma was enraged. And Yuko was a predicted twist. And Alice, I feel so sorry for her. But everything we've accumulated along the way wasn't all for nothing. It's time to turn about our way of thinking. Just put everything we've accumulated onto a tea table and flip it over, splash. The true culprit of this incident Oh, after image jumps. Is obviously this China woman! Excuse me? Whoa, Maidling, I'm sorry. I couldn't do it. I couldn't save you. Wait, wait, don't give up now. And wait a second, everything you're saying actually backs up Alice's accusations. It's fine. Huh? This trial was to deliberate whether Mailing committed the crime. I've lit the spark. That's enough for me. I expect that a trial will be held to deliberate Patchouli's involvement in the crime at a later date. What? 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 God damn it! What's the deal? Is the game really gonna end without a conclusion? Speaking of ending without a conclusion, let's talk about Shang. Hey, cut it out! Capcom's to blame for that! 
Enough, enough. Fans kept it going anyway, so everything's fine. So you calculated that this trial would drag on from the very beginning. Unbelievable. I shaved off a good portion of my life in the process, but I made it through. That's right. I was just bluffing with my leading questions. My real goal was to drag the trial out. It looks like I won it. The Mistwiss? Have you all, perhaps, forgotten about my ability? What? Huh? Hold on. My ability? Is the ability to distinctly judge anything to be good or evil. Or in this case, guilty or not guilty. I won't let this trial end unconcluded. We're using cannon elements all of a sudden? Hmm, come to think of it, I guess I'd totally forgotten about everyone's abilities. My ability is to use key. My ability to use key has been getting utilized this whole time at least. Translator's note, use key can also mean worry about something. <laughs> Thank you, translator, very cool. My ability has been featured heavily too, of course. <laughs> How do you even manipulate fate anyway? <laughs> With that said, this isn't the end. Whether we find the right truth or not, this trial will continue until I've delivered a verdict. Hurry up and lose your seat, you god-awful judge! You're a sore loser, you newbie prosecutor! Fate is on the great patch of these side. Just call me. Ace Attorney. Though saying that, we've certainly worked hard and had quite the long deliberation today, haven't we? Worked hard. Wait, it's fine. Just ignore me. Yeah, it wouldn't be fitting for this to take any longer, considering it's the first case. Hold on now, is this still going to drag on? This is as bad as the Neo Geo CD load times. Missed the space there between as and the. I knew someone would say that. Check out what I brought. Whoa, a Neo Geo CDZ! It loads twice as fast as the Neo Geo. Wow. It goes from incredibly slow the half is incredibly slow. The spectator's frustration appears to be nearing its peak too. Is that correct? Can the apostrophe in spectators work like that? I'm asking because I'm not sure. I don't know if that's just, uh... That is correct? Okay, I wasn't sure if that was just accidental, like, uh, position. I worry that continuing the trial any further might result in a riot! Where's the period? A riot. What do we do then? Hmm, let's talk aside. Now then, I have here a glass of- What? <laughs> what you got there? We got the, the, the pirk, yes, the pirk. <laughs> okay. Oh! Patchouli! Glug, 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 glug. Finished! What? What? What do you mean, not guilty? Good grief, you still don't understand? 
If Pilk is presented before you, your spinal reflexes themselves insist that you drink it. Your body moves before your brain signals can even fire. This is an absolute law. For any online content creator. What do you mean online content? Ah! Phew, there we go. Glad I was able to deliver a judgment. Court is adjourned. All is well that ends well. Don't give me that garbage. I can't allow a trial like this to exist. I'm killing you all! What? That's clear intent to commit a crime. I can't overlook this. How many other injustices have you overlooked today, you god-awful judge? I'm not gonna allow this. There's no goddamn way. Come at me! Each and every last one of you! Oh! 12.30 p.m. Gensokyo Courthouse Defendant Lobby. Nice work in there, Patchy. You were so cool. So cool. Phew, I was left totally speechless at the end there. Indeed, we somehow made it through. Oh, so it ends well, at least for now. Excuse me, but did we just get a not guilty verdict for our client? Kathy. Pachi. It's finally over. Things didn't end so well for Alice, though. Stop worrying about her and be happy that your crime somehow went undiscovered. Yeah, I guess so. I do feel bad for her, but... To be honest, it worked out for me, so I don't really care about anything else. Hooray! It was a close battle the whole way there, though. But we were able to make it through thanks to your splendid cooperation, Remy and Sakuya. I'm always on your side, Patchy. You can bat on me. Cooperation through forgery. No, I'll keep my mouth shut. Hey, guys. <sighs> Great work on there. You mean in there? Great work in there. That was a magnificent trial. Are you sure you were watching? Coo coo coo! A newbie prosecutor like her never stood a chance against the likes of me. I anticipated everything up through... Up through the very last turnabout. You really are awesome, Patchy! Where'd that humility from earlier go? Oh, by the way, I heard the courthouse staff talking a bit ago. Alice pushed buy them and fled apparently oh I hope she's able to evade capture I'm sure suddenly show I'm sure suddenly show up as I'm sure she'll su I'm sure she'll suddenly show up as either the defendant or culprit in the last case you think so patchy otherwise there'd be no point in her escaping you can bet on it why is she saying bad <laughs> That does sound possible. You sure were backed into a corner at the end, huh, Patchy? Jeez, you better not go through your gags too quick now. Gags. This incident has helped me understand, Remy. Gags that are given proper setup are received better. In the end, the only thing you actually set up in there was that message in the judge's stand, wasn't it? Yeah, I figured everything else would just happen to work out. I'll be sure to prepare a little better next time. Next time? Do you even realize how many people have gone crazy and dropped this game already? This incident was the first shade. Just let me say this. I used most of the gags I'd saved up. The next case will be lighter on gags. So you copied how new authors always go hard on the gags in the first volume of a new manga, then. Gag manga that does that gets popular and ends up serialized. But then their gags dry up and before you know it, they start a tournament arc. Very true, very true, very true.
I think that it'd actually end up interesting if it happened here. Anyway, they don't just let you use these lobbies forever. So come on everyone, line up! I'll take one of those staple celebratory photos. <laughs> and you're totally fine to use it as the background in the credits, by the way. I haven't thought that far ahead yet, but sure, I don't mind a photo. Having my photo taken sure got me in a lot of trouble today, you know. But a celebratory photo does sound nice. Let's take one. You join in too, Sakuya. No, I get the strange feeling I shouldn't be in photos or any still images for that matter. Don't worry me. Don't worry about me. You all take the picture by yourself. Okay. I guess that's fine then. Oi, Patchy! <laughs> what does the bat say? Hold it right there. Don't go forgetting the star of the show now. Kirisami Marisa, what are you doing here? Being in commemorative photos and the like is one of my special qualities. Plus, I'm part of Patchy's team. Pretty sure I've got the right to be in it. C -c 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 You're indeed right. Come on then, let's declare ourselves the winners. Yeah! <laughs> a victory in a rare Gensokyo murder case. I like the pose she's doing. This is gonna be a headliner in tomorrow's Boom Boom Matter newspaper. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, hurry it up. Right, okay, everyone huddle together. Come on, Patchy, do you always have to be front and center in photos? It's a good photo. I am the main character today, so I have the right to feature myself prominently. Yay, you're awesome, Patchy! Remy is my number one fan. Whew! I made it out good today. I foresee a photo swirling with greed. That's perfectly fine. Okay, get ready. Say, Fuzzy Pickles! How could you not, right? How could you not? However, this photo never ended up being used. After giving it their all in courtroom number one, Patchley and the others suffered an unbelievably crushing loss in courtroom two. What? What do you mean? The end. What do you mean the end? What happened? What happened in court too? <laughs> I can't read that. What the hell is going on? Oh. All right, episode two. Case 2 is called Shade Club. Should I... Should I click it to see a teaser? Or should I... Should I leave it alone? Do I... Do I... Do I give the teaser? It's all in Jap... No, no, no. It's all... It's, it's about the visual, you know? Alright, here it is, chat. Quick teaser. Quick teaser. Quick teaser. What's it say? I don't know. She gonna pin it on. <laughs> Mommy, so 
<laughs> Mommy zone. Chi 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 chi. <laughs> Alright, I closed the game. Alright, chat. So you saw that's our teaser for the next case. It seems for some reason Patchy has stabbed Eden and Mommy Zo is gonna be getting the blame. So stay tuned for next week or the week after. Whenever whenever Hawk and I is done, essentially. Is when we'll boot this game back up for the next case. But in the meantime, you know, if you like the way you solve in the first case, you can consider grabbing the game yourself. And you can play it for yourself. It's a great game. It's very ridiculous. And I enjoy it a lot. But yeah. Next time, chat. Case 2. Probably won't be until June, though. Alright, that's fine. Hang in there. Hang in there. Still waiting on Human Spirit Agency as well. <laughs>